Hello darlings, happy Tuesday to all of you and welcome to Let's Build the World. And welcome to part two of Har well, the Hargroves. Hargroves House. Hargrove House sounds quite nice, but we're just going to call it the Hargroves. Um, I've done a few little changes off of camera, just got a bit of a more understanding of where I'm going to be going with this build and stuff. Tweaked it in places um, and I'm, I'm happy with the outcome. Very happy with the outcome. Um, and I love that you guys have been enjoying this build as well. This is going to be a big build. It really is. We've got a lot more to do today. Um, but I'm just going to go in now and give you a general idea of what I did um, off of camera. And yeah, then we'll carry on building. Easy as that, you know. So let's get on over. So here we are, my darlings. We're back at the Hargroves. Back at the Hargroves, you can see I've changed the windows. I've used these windows here from Get Famous. Where are they from? Who are you? Eco Lifestyle, my apologies. Um, I've used these instead on the front. I just think they add a little bit more, something a little bit different towards the front area of the house. And I like it. You can see I've probably changed up this as well. Um, we've still got like stuff to do here. I still want to like put um, soil down there and put some plants and stuff in between these maybe. I've um, changed the door. I've also perfected the um, the fence as well. Well, the gate that would open. I used these here, which are the island living um, tiles. And I just turned them up with um, the tool mod. And it looks like a nice posh glass fence now that I'm absolutely full. One of you guys as well said to put a limo out the front. So I liked that. So we tool modded a limo out the front here too. I've also tool modded and got rid of all of the benches and stuff that was out here to make the beach look a little bit more private, even though it's got a road running right through it. I mean, you wouldn't want that for your beach, your private beach, would you? But maybe this is just their private driveway that comes in up to these houses. And well, it's still a road aid and stop trying to um sort of make it better when it's not. Anyway, so hello, welcome. This is um, a basic plan of the house. We've still, we're going to be connecting lots more. We're going to be doing another building over this side and stuff. But this is my kind of rough draft of what I want this house to be. So entrance coming in this way, stunning. Toilet there as well. I've made the garage a little bit bigger just so those cars didn't look too squished in there. This is going to be where the butler lives. I haven't put any windows or anything on it yet because I'm going to be connecting stuff in. So we'll do that probably today at some point. So this is the kind of butler's wing right down at the bottom of the house um, with his own big bathroom there. There is a bathroom down on this level as well because this is where I'm going to be putting the recording studio. I think I'm going to be going down into the basement as well with the recording studio. Um, so we're going to have like a mezzanine moment in there, I think um that's the plan anyway um i'll talk about more plans and what we're going to be getting sort of started today before um um after i go over what we're going to be doing up here so this is the kind of main family area of the house so this is the big open plan living space um i'm probably going to be putting the living room around this kind of area in here uh what is that poking through there oh it's the tree <laughs> it's not poking through it was just through the skylight so this is going to be the main kind of living area. Living area, I think, around this part here. Um, dining room on this level, so it's kind of like a living dining area. Coming around to a small little snug around this corner, I think. Um, maybe like a media snug. I'm going to maybe put a TV up on this side. But then I was thinking, oh, it'd be nice if they could have like an indoor cinema. So I'm probably going to be doing that in the basement somewhere. They're going to be doing a big indoor cinema along with a vault um, for all of their money. Like, it's, it's going to be very exclusive, this house. Um, and these two are the main bedrooms. So, I wanted two bedrooms in the main part of the house. Um, well, there is three, including the butler wing. But I wanted their bedroom to kind of be separated from where I'm going to be doing the kind of entertaining guest house space, pool area, gym. There's a lot going in this house, loves. So, I did want two main bedrooms to be in this kind of area of the house so that's what I did and I've used these windows I just like the way that these windows look like the wings it's kind of took taken away the kind of Frank Lloyd Wright kind of inspiration that I was going for using these windows but I still think they've got some kind of like modern mid-century vibe to them mainly because of this like pattern here like the leading that we've got going on there I think it matches in really well with the house and I like how kind of it gives it a little bit more I don't know, it makes it look a lot more dynamic on the front. Like this shape here, I loved from above. Obviously, put skylights everywhere as well, because why not? Um, and then I've put a door here as well. So they've got like an outside space on this bit here, which I have also extended right up to that level too. 
Um, and it's still very low profile, which is how I want to keep it. I'm not going to go any higher than this. Um, I'm going to go down with the back bit. So plans for the back today. What I really want to do, I'm going to pop up a picture. Same house, beautiful house this is. I'm going to get it up on the screen actually so I can kind of read from it. Um, this was the house that I got inspired from. This was the house that I got inspired from. And the interiors of this house are fucking beautiful. That's why I've gone for that dark mid-century vibe inside. Wooden panelled walls with exposed brick. We're going to expose a lot more brick as we go into each room and stuff, I think. Um, but they've got this pavilion area. I'll pop that up as well. This pavilion area is just beautiful. You can see what it is. It's like got that beautiful little like pools here and there. I'm going to do like a natural pool and a swimming pool um, and outside inside kind of living. Outside kitchen, a lot of you guys from the Philippines said that you love to have like kind of two kitchens, one to cook and entertain in and the other one which is, I don't know, more like in your house or something, or more, I don't know, formal. I don't, I'm i just guessing. I am guessing. But I thought that was really, really a good idea. So we're going to do a kind of outdoor kitchen area as well to kind of sort of match in with this kind of vibe. But this house is just beautiful. We're going to go a little bit more darker with the vibes inside, I think. But very mid-century platforms. Definitely want to do like a um, sunken living area maybe outside somewhere I can't do it in the house because the living area is upstairs obviously it wouldn't work um so yeah that's what we're gonna do darling so without further ado let, enough babbling on darlings and let's get on with the building shall we so what I want to start off with first if first what I want to start off with first what I want to start off with first is the kind of pavilion kind of area and what I mean by pavilion pavilions can mean quite a lot of things but to me a pavilion is kind of a sort of um shelter over an outside kind of space is that right no idea but we're going to go along with that and pretend that that is indeed correct so that is what we're going to do we're going to start here with the pavilion i think um i'm going to put a roof on it straight away actually so build a ceiling my darling lovely uh i do want it to kind of reflect in there yeah that's a perfect size actually pavilion um and i think i'm going to be right oh the only problem with that is that oh no not you darling i want to go up here um, how? Oh, I'm going to need to fence that in, aren't I? Can I just copy you? Can we just have you instead? Thanks, darling. We'll just have you. <laughs> oh, God. It's got the windows and everything. No, let's not. Let me get this sorted. Actually, it's fine. I thought it was going to be eating in. I thought it was going to creep in here as well, the platform. But it sits really nice and seamlessly against those windows. So I'm for it. That's what we're going to do, darling. Yes. We are indeed. Now I'm going to keep this darker to kind of match in with the rest of the house. Um, so I'm definitely going to be doing this kind of vibe. But that house had those kind of like square outcuts from this. So I'm definitely going to be doing that at, at several intervals, I think. Um, I'm not going to be able to do it another one there. So if I did another one there, and I could probably repeat the same here as well. Uh, and we'll just completely blitz out them. Bosh, bosh, bosh. Bish, bash, bosh, you know. Technical terms, once again, darlings. Technical terms. So I do want, like, a guest house bit on this as well. Like, a nice guest house. Like, quite low profile, like this house itself. Um, and I probably want another three bedrooms in there as well, I reckon. Um, all with their own, like, en-suites and whatnot for guests who want to stay over. Um, I'm probably going to feel that, to be honest. Probably going to feel that. Now... I need to get some of these pillars because that's what I loved about the, this pavilion. It just had these nice, really understated pillars. Can I bring that up to there? No. No, you can't. Well, screw you and the hell, the hell that you cry, crawled out from, to be honest, you know? Um, <laughs> all right, Aiden. Very aggressive. Very aggressive indeed. So let me flop that to there. You to there. Beautiful. Um, You to there as well. And I don't know whether to use that same pink, which I love because it almost brings that mid-century vibe into me. Um, using this, oh, didn't I use that anywhere? Oh, I used it in the the garage. Maybe using this on here. Let me see that. Yes, but I also need to do that down below as well. Stunning. Oh, I'm kind of for it. Kind of for it. Do I really want to have that risen though? Maybe if I bring that down to that level oh I think I prefer it being on the floor 
because I can do a pool right next to it then as well. We're going to do that. We're going to do that. Stunning. You can go to there. I'm unsure about this pink vibe that we got going on with the bricks at the minute, but we're just going we're just going to see what happens. We're going to see what happens. Anyway, so we want to do a natural pool. We want to do a natural pool and a really nice swimming pool, but I want the swimming pool to be kind of central and have the kind of buildings um, around the actual pool itself in the middle. But I do love the look of that natural pool that we had. So I'm going to do one, not a huge one, maybe. I mean, I could do it like that big, really, to be honest with you. Let's have a little look at that. Stunning. Yes. Yeah, I think that would be fine. That would be fine. Um, pool trim. Pool trim. And, oh, can I get in like a... Oh, that's quite nice, actually. Yeah, I do like that. I do like that. I won't lie. Um, I preferred the first colour, I think. No, I didn't. No, I prefer that one. Oh, yeah, I'm for that. Absolutely for it. And I think I might line the inside of this pool with some soil. <laughs> no idea what soil is, but, you know, just got to go along with it sometimes, to be honest. Right, and then same here as well. Where is the soil? It's in there. <laughs> the, the soil. No idea. Absolutely no idea. Um, And then using like something like that on it. You know? Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I'm feeling that with loads of greenery and stuff in there as well. I'm for it. Can I raise this up now with a the pool there? Oh, of course I can. Why did I think that we couldn't do that? I, I kind of prefer that. I don't know about you lot. I can see you. Don't think you're getting away from me, my love. I can sort that. Deletion protection. Right. Yes. Yes. See? Mm. That is from Twisted Mexi's Better Build and Buy mod. Um, Amazing. Amazing. So it just stops things from being deleted. Be stops th things from being deleted. I don't think it works. You know, when you put like a half wall down and all the wallpaper goes, it still happened to me when I've got that on. So I don't think it works when you use that. Why did they all just get... How Why did it... <laughs> Why did it go away then? How very dare it. Anyway. Rude. First off. So I want to put in the pool area as well. I think the pool area should take this whole space up here. I think that would look really, really nice. A huge swimming pool. Um, like going around. Maybe like a bit of architectural detail. It would be nice if this pillar was in the pool, if you know what I mean. That could be quite nice. And then bring in that. Let me see how much space we've got. I've got loads of room. 50 by 50, love. Huge, huge room. Pull my stuff area. Who who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? Thank you. Oh god, those pole the poles are gone now. Anyway, so moving on, <laughs> moving on. I'm gonna put the pool to there. This is gonna be a lot more. Um, yes, nice. And I'm not gonna use that same trim. I think what I'm gonna use is just do the generic black one for this one here. Or maybe grey. That looks a bit harsh against everything. Yeah, we'll do grey. We'll do grey. We'll also change the water um, to that kind of, that one there. That swimming pool kind of looking watered one. I'm for it. Really am for that. Yes, that's nice. That's a nice point. That's a huge pool. And I'm, I'm, as I said, for it. Absolutely for it. Ah, it would be nice though. I've just had a thought. First off, let me just get this on. I'm just going to testicles something. Sorry. Testicles. I'm just going to testicles something. Just to see that it does work. Um, Like, an, uh, like a canopy over here. Mm, no. No, the more I'm looking at it, the more I like that cleaner space. Definitely need some kind of window along here, I think, though. It's a bit too much of wall there. And... Oh, maybe like some, maybe like some floor windows would be really cool. Yes. And I know the perfect window for that, darlings. This one here in black. Oh, let me see it against the brick first, though, because that might be a bit weird. Uh, yeah, I think I need to go a little bit more there, like that kind of tone. And I'll just put them all along there. Like that. 
Again, architectural detail. Like from, oh no, I don't need you on that bit really. Oh, you're cutting into the bloody bathroom. Well, the butler doesn't need that big of a bathroom, does he really? I mean, let me see that. Yeah, still need something on there, but I don't know what yet. But I think that corridor will look really nice with the panels. And Oh, look at that. You just see like little glints of the water by your feet. I'm full that. Nice vibe in there. Yeah, I'm, I'm here for that. Absolutely here for it. Really am. So I think we should start on the guest house area. So I do want a sunken. I don't know where to do that. I want like a sunken moment. Um, I think off of here would be a nice, nice way to do it. So we're going to do it together. We'll, we'll testicles the shit out of it and see what happens. Um, let me go to here first. Let me get that grid on for a start. I think like... Mm, what I'll do. Let me see how big that is. Two there. And there. And then the sunken moment can be... It doesn't need to be huge. It doesn't need to be huge. And I would love like a two tile walkway around it. So that one down to that level... Yeah, I think so. I think that would really work. So what I need to do anyway, I've got that mapped out now. I need to do this. I'm going to bring that down a level. Do I want to bring that up to this level and have that just like underneath? I think I might want to do that actually. Oh, I'm recording here. <laughs> the amount of weird videos I must have of me actually accidentally pressing V. Does anybody else do that? The old V inch. <laughs> I'm getting rid of all of these pillars, aren't I, by the looks of things? Oh, well. Yeah, so I'm just going to raise up this one. I'm going to raise up that one. That one's down two levels now, I think, though. No, it's not. No, it's not. Um, We can get rid of all of these here. Bye-bye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Eh, I said bye. What are you doing? This game. Seriously, I hate it. Right, all the way along, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, get rid of you. And oh. Oh. Oh, I'm vibing, loves. I don't know about you, but I'm vibing with that. Obviously, this needs to be done. And this. Still unsure on this pink just yet, but I still think it gives that mid-century vibe off. Do you know what I mean? Right, across like that. Oh, shit, I got rid of that then. I liked that little gap in the middle there. I think it's there, isn't it? And, um, boop. Let me see that. Let me see. Get rid of that grid. Yeah, I do like that. I do. Yeah, I'm vibing. Absolutely vibing with that. So, let's get you on there as well. And the trims, if you would, please. Can I not eye drop you? Why? I'd like to know why. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> let me see yes yeah, so the sunken little entertaining space there i think i'm gonna go down into the basement here and have this as like um uh kitchen like a kit outside kitchen area with like some lovely tables down below there with loads of greenery i think that would be nice that would be lovely would um i don't know what i'm gonna do oh do i need to do two of these oh i do Oh, how weird. What the fuck, eh? I need to um, put some stairs, obviously, down into that level. But I don't know what stairs to use yet, so we'll leave that for just a minute. And I don't know what flooring I want to put in there yet, either. I th I'm thinking maybe wood, some kind of wooden vibe would look nice. But we'll, we'll, we'll just leave it at the minute. And I might even go deeper with that filth. But I might, you know? So... This one here, you can go there opposite that one over that side. Um, let me get you on the end so I can figure out balance here. Um, I think it would be there, wouldn't it? Yes. There and there. Beautiful. Beautiful pavilion, must say. Let me see. Oh, yes. Yeah, I'm kind of here for that. I am. I am, I tell you. Right, okay. Now that we've got that down, I can start on with... The guest kind of suite and i think i'm going to start the guest suite right up to the edge of the pavilion um i'm going to start it right up to there uh again i'm keeping this very low profile 
Uh, so I'm going to cut across here. As No, I'm not, because there's the entertainment space there. I'm going to go here first and then cut across here. I need my grid to see what I'm doing here. All the way to about there. Okay. Okay, so we can have an entrance over here into one of the bedrooms. So I'm going to leave enough space. That should be big enough for a bedroom. Stunning. So that is five by five. So we'll try and mirror that in with the others. Five by five there as well. We got like one bedroom, two bedroom. Uh, I did want to come around this way. Oh, I still could. I still can. I'll do another bedroom here as well. And I'll make this into a gym. But I'm going to make the gym just skirt in a little bit shorter than the rest of them. So it just gives a little bit more dynamic to the shape, you know? I do want to overhang this. But it's going to be weird overhanging it on this side, I think. Because we haven't done it with the pavilion area. But I'm going to try it anyway. Um, Let me see that. Go over there. Same here, please. All the way over to there as well. We'll overhang that side. And I'm going to connect in this side here. And then overhang it on that side as well, I think. Yes. Yes, but... I... But... I'm not going to do this as a platform. I'm going to have that a little bit lower than the pavilion, I think. Um, again, just for some interest, you know. So simple. Would that one be too thick? Yeah, that one's a bit too thick. I think jutting is going to be the best option. There we go. So I'll put the jutting one on. Oh, God. Yes. Yeah, I'm kind of there for that. Um, we'll still use that one. Let me see that. Let me see that shape. Uh, I don't like that. I don't like it. It hangs over there, I don't think. Yeah, I think that's going to be a bit better. Nice little, like, greenery moment there. Maybe with some trees out, I think. Uh, and I don't know what material to do the actual guest house and gym in. I don't know what material to use. We're going to get rid of you for a start. Because you're an asshole. Um, can I put you back there without you cutting inside? There we go. Stunning. That's all you needed to do, darling. You know, that's all you needed to do. But you couldn't even do that, could you? No. Why? Because you're a little shit. That's why. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Right. I just need a little think and I play around with a few bits um, and we'll see what happens. Okay, I've been playing around for far too long, so I need to come back to you guys and we're going to do this together. So I've changed the shape of the like guest houses a little bit more. They were a bit too big. I thought the 5x5 five five was just a little bit too big, so I've done a 4x5 instead. So we've got three separate kind of self-contained little like rooms where guests, guests can stay. And I thought this could be the separate gym and kind of pool house area. But we just need to try and make this look a little bit more better, really, to be honest with you. I've also gone down into the basement level here um, using the platforms and the basement. Um, and I thought this could be a really nice place to do some outside cooking and maybe a fire pit down at this level or something. I thought that would be a nice little vibe. I like the general view and that shape now. I've also changed the texture of the pavilion because it was just looking too samey, samey. But I've gone for this texture here. And I think it just breaks up these two black textures a little bit nicely. Um, and I'm for it. So that's what we're going to do. Yes, we're going to do. Let's carry on. So, um, yes. <laughs> yes. What windows are we going to put here? I think we need two big... Uh... Oh, oh, God. I just, I just realised. Look at all of this around here. The benches and everything. We'll get rid of all of that. Sorry. So, yep. Yeah. Goodbye, benches. Goodbye, benches. No public here. Thank you very much. This is my land. Um, Yes. <laughs> anyway. So I think we're going to stick with these. I think we're going to stick with these and just do four moments like this, I think, across it. Let me see that. Hmm. Maybe getting rid of this one, actually, and using the bigger one in the, in the middle. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I kind of like that, darling. So I won't lie. I kind of like that, sweet ace. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, I like them with it. Oh, yeah, they do suit it as well. Yeah, we'll use the two of the open ones, though, and I'll turn one the other way just so it looks a bit differing. And we'll put four windows up on the... Oh, Christ. Put four windows up on this side here. Um. Oh, why is that one off for? 
Is that one not in the middle? I don't think this one's in the middle. There we go. Stunning. Uh, and the same there as well. Yes. Yeah, I like that. I do. Hmm. Do you know what I think would make it look even nicer? Um, if I could maybe do a small half wall just on this point here. Let me see that. Oh, yes. That's going to be a vibe, that. Yeah, we'll do that all the way along. Stunning. Ah! Put you all the way along there as well. There's going to be lots of changes to the build. I can feel it now. I can feel it in my bones, and I'm usually right. I'm usually right when I feel like that. Yes. Yes, that's just given me a bit more vibage there. And I'm all for a bit of vibage. I don't know about you lot, but I'm all for a bit of vibage. I'm just going to testicle something. Um, can I do two there instead, like that? Mm, I don't know what I prefer. I don't know what I prefer. I think that looks makes it look very modern, which is what I want. It's that kind of rethought mid-century modern vibe that we're going for. What have I come around here for? Oh, yeah, the trim. <laughs> I'm always thinking about 20 different things at once. Um, let me get that trim on there as well, just so we can vibe with that. Oh, yes. No, I do like that now. Yep, I'm here for that. But I do want a bit of architectural detail on this side. So let me get to here. Um, let me get my build mode on and let's get the grid on going. Uh, if I can... Hmm, I could do one... Uh, yeah, if I can do this here, just... Bear with, trust the vish, all of that business, all the way along to there. Right, I just think this side needs something going over like here like that. Yes, I think so. And then these obviously there, there and there. And then my thoughts were, if I can eye drop that fence in there, stunning. Uh, let's get that grid on going here. I could do one there, one there. One there. Can I do one there? Is that going to be right up against that? No, that won't look right. Okay. And then just bish bash bosh, you know? But I don't even have to... Oh, no, I have to trim up that. But we'll go ahead and put the inlaid one on. Where's the inlaid trim? There we are. Um. Oh, that's going to give that whole build that, though, isn't it? I don't want that. So I need to hold shift down and do each bloody corner now. Oh, this is a pain in the bum. And there as well. Stunning, stunning, stunning. And... One, two, and three. Holding shift down by doing that, if you didn't know, my loves. Yeah, I do like that. I do. Yeah. Um, I don't know whether to get rid of this one, though, and have, like, a little bit of a walkway going around this area. Uh, and I'm going to use that same... Let me just do that. Go to there for this. Um, I've rethunk, I've rethought it, and I do actually like the pink brick with this. I think it just gives it that bit more of a mid-century vibe using this pink brick as well. Um, I was looking at using this one here as well, which is very nice. I love this, but I think going for this, it just adds a little bit of a different color into it. Yeah, yeah, that's gave me something. That's gave me something. I don't know what yet. I don't know what doors we're going to use on these guest houses yet either, but we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Um, so this is the pool house and the gym. I reckon we could just use it as one big kind of moment. And I reckon we could probably use one of those, even though they don't really color match in very well. because It's like a charcoal-y gray color, not black. I reckon we could use one of these moments on this part. Yeah, I do like it. It just almost needs like a, a bit of detail on the door though. Like, I don't know. It's going to be hard to try and map this in. Mm, like, like pocketing the door. I mean, it's gave us quite a tight space here, but Sims will be able to walk past that. That's fine. Uh, all the way to there. Let me see what we're doing here. Mm, um, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe if I put black on it. Let me see. Let me see. I know the door's like quite short and it's showing the brick off there. But I had a thought of that as well. Um, let's bring you all the way around here as well, please, darling. And you as well. Oh, that's going to do all of that as well, isn't it? Oh, you're a, you're a shit, aren't you? You're an absolute shit. Oh, God, it's not even going to go on that. <sighs> no, that looked crap. 
I tried it, didn't work. So I think I'm just going to keep that like that as it is for the minute. And then it leaves a nice two tile walkway between the pool and the pool house and gym itself. Um, so yeah, stunning. So I'm just going to carry this around here and then I'm going to go back and start concentrating on smaller areas because I feel like we've got enough kind of mapped out for the minute. I still want to do some other buildings around here, I think, but I don't know what we're going to do that where we're going to do that and what we're going to do with that just yet so i'm going to leave it i'm taking on too much okay so the last thing we're going to do at the back here before we go around to the front and start putting in some smaller details and stuff i want to get some skylights skylights in the guest suite area so i think from where i looked just then oh i don't want that to be right up against the window and that is so it's not there it's here one there uh this one there jean paul you know all about jean paul and then up there as well please sweetie ah beautiful stunning stunning beautiful 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 stunning um <laughs> i didn't even need to do that i've just remembered i didn't even to use um that fence then to put these on because i thought this was up on a platform and it's not but I like these framing it. I like that fence framing these skylights anyway. So I'm going to do that. Oh, yes. Yes, that adds something that I do like. I prefer how they sit like this inside the platform. But I don't want to raise this platform up. I want to keep that very low profile. Different height to this one over here. What's going on there? What's that? What are you? Is that the fucking thing from underneath? That is the bloody poles from underneath, isn't it? Honestly, Sims. They keep rising up by themselves. Stop it. I said stop it and I meant it. Right. And I'm going to do one to there, one to there. Lovely. Oh. That's blue barking. I don't know if you heard that. Um. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think that looks nice enough for the minute. Um, But I do want to have this like moment in the middle. So I do want to connect another building onto this side. Um, And I don't know what would... would go in that building perhaps but feel free to give me ideas guys feel free to give me ideas because we're kind of getting there with the shape of this now it is coming along quite nicely i don't like that door on it either <laughs> you can go away it was looking too community center for me and i'm not for that anyway let's start detailing up the front a little bit more now so we're going to concentrate on the front area and we're going to start detailing it so what i need to do Let's do a bit more terrain painting for a start. Um, and I do want to bring this soil all the way along here. Thank you. All the way along there. Beautiful. Into there too. Lovely. Yes, I think oh, this could house some kind of greenery under there. I think that would look really cute. Just having a little moment there. That would be really nice. So I'm going to do that there. And maybe there as well, but a tiny little one. Just there. Oh, it's a bit too small, love. Just there. Oh, God. Posture of a prawn again. Posture of an absolute quaver. So let's sort that out. Yes. Yes. Stunning. I'm not going to borderline it with that or border it with that. Borderline it? <laughs> no, Aiden. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. But I do want to put some kind of bush in there. Um... I don't want to get any colour. I want it to be all green. I don't want any flowers or anything with this build. I don't think it would suit it. Uh, so let me get a nice bush out. And voila. Ye old faithfuls. These bushes never let me down. They never let me down. So I'm going to use these two. One there. Beautiful little one there as well. Ah! <laughs> I don't know what that noise was, but we'll go with that. <laughs> we'll go. We'll go with that. Yes, very understated, very classy. This side here, I do want to put a door in this side. I didn't do one on this side, so I think they need to have some kind of way to get round to this part over here. Um, you can also see I cut this part here through as well, so the tree can go through it. Absolutely for that, really am. So, yeah, let's do that. Let's try and find a nice door that would go here. Do I want to do glass? I don't think glass. I do think it needs to be a solid, modern door, really. The only problem with that being... Most of the doors will go over the top of this um, side. Oh. Oh. Didn't even think about it. Oh. 
Oh, yes. That's the vibe that we want, loves. Yes, that goes in nice with the, um, the house as well. Oh, I'm for that. I really am. I really am for that. Tell you what, loves. For that. Really am. Um, and I do want to get in some kind of plantage out the front here as well. Um, ooh, I mean, that's an indoor one, but that would probably come in useful, actually, for in the interior. Some of the objects from the new kit pack might come in okay um, for the actual interior to this, which is quite exciting, isn't it? <laughs> very exciting, Aiden. Very, very exciting. Perfect. I mean, these have got white flowers on, but they are very nice and green. Uh, so I'll do two more at that end there. I might actually get rid of you, actually, to be honest. Oh, I'm for that, yes. Yes, they suit there very nicely. I'm trying to go very min. This is house is going to be very minimal on the interiors as well. Very minimally styled. It really is. So I don't want too much out here, to be honest with you. I think lighting is going to be a big point for this place. Um, and I need to perfect this terrain paint of this area as well while we're here. So let's do that together, shall we? Uh, we're going to get you. Stunning. Oh, yes. But yeah, don't forget, we've got two more of these coming this week as well. So I'm trying not to do too much. Um, we'll definitely get into the interiors at some point this week. Um, probably going to be more along the lines of Thursday where we start the interiors. Uh, and I'm probably going to do a little bit off of camera as well. Not too much, though. I don't want to take away too much from you guys. I know that you enjoy watching all of the process. But um, sometimes you just have to, you know, just to sort of like make sure things are running smoothly. You know where your vision's going. And, you know, it all comes down to the je ne sais quoi bien, every single time. It really does. It really, really does. Oh, I'm for it, yes. So, out here, they do need their mail. They do need their mail. I was going to do like a little security hut as well. Um, I may even do... Can I do it there? Or will that take away... I don't know, because that hedge might hide it. Let me see. Just like a little security... Excuse you. Excuse me. Thank you. Just a little security hut. Can I? Oh, that bush is going to creep through it. I might be able to whiffle that back a bit, actually. Let me just see. Doesn't need to be massive. Yeah, maybe along the lines of something like that. Uh, I'm going to whiffle this back. Oh, God, that's really, really cutting in, isn't it? Oh, and it's no different that side. Oh, you bastard. So I might have to pull this a bit further. No, because then it's going to be in line with that. and I don't like that. Let me just see. Let me see that. Let me see it. Let me have a look at you. Come here. Mm. If I style that all in black. Yes. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to style that all in black. This black tile. So it kind of nestles away. Yeah. No, that's fine, actually. That is fine. I thought that wasn't going to work. Can I just pull you in one more there? Let me see. Let me have a look. Let me have a look. Yeah. Eh, eh, eh. There we go. Maybe. Yes. Yeah, that's better. And then I can whiffle that over that side a little bit more. Yes. Yeah, I do like that. Okay. And then very low profile here as well. I was hoping that wasn't going to be able to be seen over the um the hedge. And you can't really. Not really. You know? It's kind of quite low profile, this one as well. Uh, so I'll do the same up here. I think what I'm going to do is maybe rise that up too. Just so we can put a cheeky little platform on it, you know. Um, yeah, and this will put like a computer and a big window so the security guards can keep an eye on things. And um, we'll definitely need to do some cameras around this lot as well. Cameras around this lot. I would imagine one of them at least having one stalker, you know. What the hell's going on here? Inlaid. There we go. That just looked a bit chunky to me then. Yes, and we'll detail that a bit later. But I think this is where we'll leave it today anyway. We'll leave it here for today. Um, we made a start. We made a start. We managed to kind of map a bit of this area out at the back here. Um, I still need to get a bit more of this kind of vibe through here. We're going to do that by lots of greenery. I want trees all that at the back here. Um, big pine trees as well. I think no, maybe not big ones, actually. I do like how these kind of like fit around this build. So I may do several of these down here. But um, give me some ideas, guys. What do you see being in this 
big part here is going to be quite a substantial size. I reckon we're going to go up a couple of stories with this level here. Um, so please let me know what you think we should put in there. It would might uh, it might have been nicer if we put the bedrooms in that part, but you know we'll just see what happens. Organically building once again, loves. Organically building and hoping for the best. That is my motto for today. So there we go, my darlings. Part two of the Hargroves. It's complete. Give me some ideas. I want some more ideas from you guys. Definitely towards the back as well. What do you think we should put there? The big mansion, the celebrities, what would they have? Like maybe a library, a big library or something. Um, I don't know. I'd like to hear from you. What do you think? But um, yeah, I'll be back with this tomorrow. Doing more exterior work. I'll make sure to get a little bit more done off of camera and see what happens. And yes, I'll be back tomorrow. I'm live on Twitch tonight, 7 p.m. GMT, playing some Horizon Zero Dawn, if you would like to come and join me. But if not, see you tomorrow. Goodbye.